Mr. D back with you. Uh, earlier we did the front kick. Now we're going to do a jump front kick. So I was mentioning earlier that all these kicks we do on the ground, we can do aerial. All right, and this is Danny. He's an excellent jumper, so I wanted him here to help us with this. So uh, jumping front kicker, sir, if you'll go to fighting stance. Sir. Um, let me bring you over here a little bit. Good. He wants to bring his uh, knee that he's not kicking with up. So say, for example, you're kicking with your right leg here. I want to tuck that left knee up first, okay? That can help aim, but mostly it helps lift. It gives the altitude, then come up with your other leg and you kick. So this is really a front leg front kick. He's going to kick, jump in the air, and kick with his front leg. So as I hold the pad here, ready, set, and go. Right. Do you see how he did that? Uh, you have two choices. You can kick with the top of your foot, like an instep. You can go there or with the ball of the foot. And pad holder may want to just angle a little more as they hold the pad for you. So let's try a couple with the ball of the foot. And two. Good. And one more. Good. See, he makes it look easy. Um, so the idea is to get that back leg up lifting. It's like a scissor or you may hear it referred to as a double action front kick. Okay, because there is some double action going on. So we teach the little kids when we practice just kind of walking and then lifting your leg up, sort of just strolling and bringing your knee up and kicking. It's very easy to do from a walk. We recommend that you don't run. If Danny goes back a little bit and he starts running towards the pad, it's not going to have him go up so much, it's going to have him go out. Right, he'll end up going past it. So he's better off with a fast walk and then springing right up and kicking. Plus, in reality, with your opponent, too, if they see you running at them, they'll duck out of the way or get out of the way where you can kind of walk up fast and then it, it's a little more deceptive. So that's jump front kick. Practice that. It's a fun kick. We, we learn it right at the beginning at White Belt. If you do those things that we showed, you'll have good success. Mr. D back with you again. And we're going to call in the Air Force again and um, have Danny show a jump axe kick. So we learned the regular axe kick of getting your leg up high. This is a little tricky because you still have to stretch your leg up and yet still scissor in the air. So he's going to scissor or, or double action or bring his knee up like he did the jump front kick. But then he's got to stretch his leg up and into an axe kick. So Danny goes to fighting stance. And facing the, he's such a good jumper, so we're glad to have him here. And as he double actions, so he's going to kick with this leg. He's going to bring that knee up first, but he's got to stretch this leg up to his chest. Ready, set, go. And when he does that. And then he hits with the heel. So that, that's the important part. You come down, hit with your heel. Again, in sparring, use the ball of the foot to soften the blow. And Danny will switch stance. So you can kind of see what his leg is doing. I wanted to see his tuck on that and the double action. Now his leg here as he, as he scissors up. Go. Good. Excellent. Notice his hand position was good. Was right up like that. Be comfortable with your hands. Don't drop them, but you don't have to be rigid. Let them come in a little bit, but as long as they're up, you know, and, and guarding and helping your balance and posture, then that's an important thing. So that's uh, jump axe kick. Again, that's one we practice at white belt. Once you get the hang of axe kick, we can just scissor up and do an axe kick. It's a lot of fun. It's a great drill. And I think if you practice it that way, you'll have good success. Mr. D back with you, and again, we're going to be jumping. Um, Savannah did a nice job showing the side kick. Now, Danny's going to show the same thing, but in the air, a flying side kick, a jump side kick. What he wants to do is jump over some opponents. So, for example, um, if we put a few pads down, he, he may jump over and attack me. So, Danny's back to flying side kick. Yeah. This is okay to get a little running start. Remember what we said with jump front kick, don't get a running start. Just get a fast walk and scissor up because on jump front kick, we want to go north. We want to go up. 
This, he wants to go out, more like a long jump. Sure, he wants to get height, but if he tucks his knees up, he can get over an opponent fairly easily, or over an obstacle fairly easily, and, and can kick his opponent. So he's going out more, long jump, horizontal more. So it's not a problem to get a running start. Now you don't want to get a, some of the kids get a long, long running start. You don't want to do that. But taking two or three steps is fine. So I'll be an opponent here, and Danny can kind of demonstrate. He jumps over, and then he, 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 he does a kick to him. Ready, set, and go. Very nice, good job. So the idea on this particular kick if he goes to fighting stance, is to kick it the same way as a side kick. Use your heel. Use the triangle tuck. Really tuck it up well. Keep the hands up. But he wants to go over an obstacle. Um, maybe one opponent is on the ground shaking up and he needs to kick another opponent. He jumps over that opponent and kicks. So with, with the pads, we'll demonstrate it from some different angles. Ready, set, and go. Good. Good. I can bring you this way, and go, good. very good, if we can send you this way, and those pads in the way, sorry about that folks, ready, set, and go, good. very nice, good, good height on that, okay, and maybe this way, I don't know if you can see too well here, but you can now kind of feel it like you're, you're being attacked now, ready, set, and go, good, good. excellent, Danny, thank you, good job. So that's flying side kick. Another really, really fun kick. Um, kids love it. Adult, big kids like us adults love it. And uh, it's one we can practice at an early rank. Uh, Injury-wise, just be careful on the landing. We rarely ever get hurt going up. It's the coming down where we could twist an ankle or get hurt. So be cautious of that. Don't try and jump over the tw up 20 stories. Just jump what you can jump. Get in shape with the kick. Get your legs strengthened to land a lot and jump a lot. And then once you've done that many times, then, then bring the height up a little bit. If you do those things, I think you'll have good success. Mr. D here. Our next kick is going to be called back kick. Now, back kick is kicking behind you, sort of like a mule or a horse would kick. All right? Someone's coming up behind you. It's not necessarily a spin side kick which can be a little bit different. They're, they're both similar, but this is more kicking behind you, like so. Now, we're going to do it, and we practice this a lot in the class, with a spin, and because it creates so much power and a lot of deception. So, guys, if I could get you a fighting stance up to the pad, so she comes around, turns, and kicks, just like so. If he were to do a spin side kick, his knee would come all the way around and then in. With a back kick, you're a little more chambered up this way, and then out and through like so. So your knees almost rub together as you back kick. Hands up and go. Good. So spin side kick, back kick, very similar. Back kick tucked in a little more right as you kick. Back kick a little quicker too because your knee has less area to travel. So you can get to your target quicker. Fighting stands, and go. Good. But the most important part is the spin. I go to punch it, Savannah. Right, like so. She can, she can make a good, strong spin. Very powerful. We see people hardly spinning and kicking through three and four boards with us. And that's how powerful this technique is. Good. Danny. Go. Now, one of my favorite uses of this is following it with another kick. So, so follow, I'm, I'm sorry, it following another kick. So Savannah side kicks, step up, and then she back kicks. That's when to use it, inspiring. When your opponent's occupied with your first kick, then you come through and use that kick uh, to follow. Very, very powerful kick. So that's back kick, and that's technically that spin back kick that we were showing too. So kicking behind you, coming around, avoiding maybe an opponent's attack, coming back through and kicking is, is your spin back kick. If you do it that way, you'll have good success. Mr. D back with you. To show you a little bit tougher kick called a hook kick. It's very, very effective kick. Um, and this is one that goes high section. 
We want to keep our knee bent and hit with our heel. So if we, if our guys, if we go to fighting stands again, Miss Danny, Miss Savannah, and we go to fighting stands, she's going to step up like a sidekick. And one thing I like about this is it prepares like a sidekick. So if I'm sparring her, I think maybe a sidekick is coming to my body as she steps up. So I lower my hands and look out. A hook kick goes right across and hits me in the head. And then I look like this after. Okay? So she steps up and pulls through with her heel in a hook kick. Just like so. All right, guys, let's go in and out of line with that. They're fighting stands. So this is the first way of learning the hook kick. Do it like your, your step-up side kick. All right, but sparring-wise, you can really disguise it. Ready, set, and go. I think, think that side kick is coming. All of a sudden, they pull through and hit you high section. You want to get a little lean down and always pivot. Get that bottom foot to turn so you can get that nice height and nice posture. Go. Great job. Hand position up like the other kicks. If we could demonstrate the other leg. Ready, set, and go. Good. Good. Excellent. See that? My height right here in the hitting. Oh, whoo, with power, too. Now, if Miss Savannah was going to go to the body and wanted to hit me, um, switch stance, man. Come a little closer. Now, a hook kick wouldn't be that powerful. If she came around to the body and hit, yeah, knock the wind out of me, maybe. When she comes to the body, we're going to do a later kick called the reverse turning kick, and she wants to lock her leg out, spin her top, go. Boom, and nail me in the body. But going to the head, that's when you use the spin hook kick. When you go up high, you want that flexibility. You want that bent knee for speed because it's hard to catch your head. We can catch your body in sparring, hard to catch your head. So uh, that's why we want that. Okay, so uh, one more kind of slow motion, Mr. Savannah, if you'll come up. And just kind of, if you can, slow. She's awesome at this. Demonstrate. Pull through. And down. Uh, thank you, sir. Okay. Great job. If you practice it that way, you'll have good success.